As you guys know, I was a class clown. But on this particular day, woohoo, I was acting a fool. My teacher got tired of it, and he said he was going to call my dad. Oh, I done did it now. My dad literally told me not to get in trouble today, and that's exactly what I did. Please don't tell. Please, please. No, man, I told you to stop. So after class, I'm going to call your dad. <laughs> So on the ride home from school, I was super quiet. And then my dad asked me how was school. It was good. So there's nothing you want to tell me? Dang it, he knows. Dad, I was dancing on the desk because my legs were itching. You were doing what? Dancing on the desk? Didn't Mr. Williams call you? Mr. Williams ain't call me. I was just joking. Oh, I just told on myself. Well, since you like dancing so much, you can dance yourself into your room. You're grounded. From that point on, I never told my parents if I was being bad in class. So one day, our teacher was giving back our test, and I got a nap. And to make matters worse, the test had to be signed by a parent. Oh, my dad's gonna kill me. What do I do? What do you mean, what should you do? You should be a good boy and get your test signed by your parents. Don't listen to him. He don't know what he's talking about. Who are you guys? We're shorter people. We help you make decisions. Yeah, I'm the fun one, and he's the boring one. I'm not boring. I'm just smart. And you should be smart too, Desmond, and tell your parents about the test. Or you should forge your dad's signature. That way he won't find out and you won't be put on punishment. Ooh, no punishment sounds great. So I forged my dad's signature and brought the test back to school. But I was feeling a little guilty. It's not too late, Desmond. Be a good boy. Remember, no punishment. Desmond, did you get your test signed? Uh, yes. It's right here. So you expect me to believe that this is your dad's signature? Yes, sir. I'm gonna call him right now. Oh no, show the people. What should I do? I'm out of this one. There's nothing you can do. That signature was terrible. <laughs> Hopefully, next time you listen to me. Oh no! <laughs> so for as long as I can remember, my grandpa had the nicest lawn in the town. Everyone knew not to step on it, or else. The family knew, the mailman knew, even animals knew to stay off his lawn. One day, I started riding my brand new bike to my grandparents' house because my friends lived near there. I was pedaling really fast, and as I was approaching the house, I realized the brakes were too hard to press and I couldn't stop. <laughs> my bike rolled right into the middle of my grandpa's lawn, and my heart dropped. The whole neighborhood got silent and was staring at me. No one has ever made it to the middle of the lawn and they wanted to see what was about to happen. All of a sudden, my feet were in the air. I looked up, my grandpa had both of my hands in one of his hands. No, grandpa, no, no, I'm sorry. He whooped me so bad in front of everyone. Let me tell you about the time I locked my dad in the bedroom. So I was helping my dad change all of the door locks to these new fancier ones. But I kept on messing up the directions. Oh, my bad, my bad. My dad was trying to be real patient with me, but he nah, had nah, enough. I don't think you're supposed to close it yet. Just now. shut up. I don't want to hear you say another word. All right, but I don't think you're supposed to close Desmond, it. Jasmine, what did I say? Not another word. Okay. Okay, that should do it. I asked my dad if I could talk again, and he said, uh, yeah. So I told him that he locked himself in the room. What? What you talking about? I didn't put my doorknob on yet. Well, why didn't you say nothing? Because you said no to know the word. Well, go call your mom because I left my phone out there. I can't either because I left my phone in there. Oh, I see it. What's your password? Sorry, Dad. I'm not giving it to you. But what you said to me? I just don't want to get his banking. What's the password? Hold on. Did he just tell me to hold on? Oh, you better get it. ready because here I am. Look, Dad, come. I fixed it. Oh, oh, oh. I still... What the password? So one afternoon, Brayton took a nap and his older brother, Ethan, wanted to play a trick on him. Wake up, Brayton. It's time to go to school. <gasps> what time is it? It's 7 o'clock. You're about to be late for school. Oh, no. I got people I got to beat up today. Brayton got washed up, put on some clothes, and headed to the curb to wait for the bus. I seen him sitting outside, and I said, Brayton, why are you sitting on the curb? I'm waiting for the school bus. Why don't you have your school uniform on? <laughs> because it's 7.30. Yeah, I know, stupid. 7.30. PM. Now who's stupid? 7.30 PM. Oh! Aiden! Wait, I'm playing the Simon game. This game is so fun. I'm trying to survive. The link to the game is on my page. Why do you say it was time for school? Because I can do what I want to do, and you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> Little boy. Who I can't stand you, Aiden! <laughs> Alright, true story. Me and my older brother used to always get into trouble. He's older than me, so I will follow behind every dumb idea that he had. And our parents didn't play the, oh, he did it first game. If you were caught in the act, you were going to get smacked. And that's just the way it was. Well, I got tired of getting smacked, and I told my brother that I wasn't going to follow him anymore. That was the best decision that I've ever made because my brother was about to get the whooping of a lifetime. So we were still on punishment for something dumb that we did, and our parents took our TV away. They were about to go out to dinner, and they told us not to watch 
any other TV in the house and to get our chores done. As soon as they left, my brother was like, yo, you wanna go watch TV? And usually, I would, but this time I said, nah, bro, you're on your own. When they came back, I was doing the dishes and my brother tried to act like he was doing chores all along. Our dad looked at us and could tell something was up. So he went to his bedroom and placed his hand on the TV and it was still warm. Woo, somebody about to get it. Who was watching TV in my room? It was me, not Desmond. And he got in trouble all by himself. So when I was a kid and people spoke to me, I always misunderstood them. Most people would just laugh it off, but there was one person that couldn't stand it, my dad. The worst time this happened was when he was about to win these free basketball tickets. He was calling number three on this radio show and all he had to do was answer three questions. Caller number three, Welcome what is your to- name? Dad. Well, good morning, Dad. Do you want these free course-size Sixer tickets? You bet I do. Well, they can be yours if you answer these three questions. All right. Question number one. What were the Philadelphia 76ers originally called? The Syracuse Nationals. You are right. Mm -hmm. Question number two. All right. What kind of animal is the 76er mascot? A dog. Correct again. It is a fuzzy blue dog named Franklin. And the last question for them course-size tickets. Bring it on. Which 76er had the best... Braids. Oh, that's easy. It was Iguodala. Ooh, what? so close. No. The answer is Allen Iverson. I know, I know. Sorry, you lose. Boy, what's wrong with you? Iguodala don't got no braids. Braids? I thought he said waves. Waves? Oh, boy, I'm gonna get you. So growing up, my brothers and I had to rotate for weeks to wash the dishes. But we didn't have a dishwasher, so we had to wash each dish by hand. And it used to take us forever. So all three of us had our own ways of getting it done faster. So me, I would just take half of the dishes and hide them under my bed. My middle brother was clever. He would just throw the dishes in the trash. But my oldest brother took it to a whole nother level. He would literally take a dish from the sink and put it in the cabinet. The rest of the family couldn't stand it because anytime it was his week, we didn't have any clean dishes. It was to the point that even our friends knew. Hey, yo, Dad, can I get a fork? Yeah, go ahead. Wait, hold up. Whose week is it? But one day he got in a lot of trouble because my dad got a bowl for some cereal, but the bowl already had cereal in it. Oh my goodness, I can't take this no more. Big brother, get in here. For now on, you better not touch these dishes because these are nasty. And then my big brother looked at me and smiled. Turns out it was his plan all along so he didn't have to do the dishes anymore. Genius. Well, my dad didn't let my brother off that easy. He was so mad that my brother wasn't washing the dishes right. But now on, you better not touch these dishes because these are nasty. And my brother was put on punishment without any TV. But he didn't care because he still had his phone. So when my oldest brother was in eighth grade, he was selling candy for his school. I remember looking inside of his candy bucket and seeing my favorite candy. If I were you, big brother, I would eat all this candy. No, nobody better eat this candy. If you do eat this candy, ooh. A few hours later, I got so hungry and I had a sweet tea. And then I thought about my brother's candy. So I took a piece and started eating it in the bathroom. My dad called my name and I got scared. So I threw the piece of candy behind the toilet. My dad made me do the dishes and I forgot all about that piece of candy. Hey, who threw this piece of candy back in? Was it you? No. Oh, so it was you. No, it wasn't me. Oh, so I guess we just got ghosts running around the house, huh? It was one of you two, so y'all gonna be on punishment until y'all fess up. A week later, my brother was like, bro, you and I both know it wasn't me. I know, I just don't want to get a spanking. Oh, so it was you. Come here. I got So last night, I didn't get a lot of sleep, and I was falling asleep in every classroom. My teacher got so mad at me that he made me stand up in the back of the class. But that didn't help. I just leaned on the wall and fell asleep. During recess, I fell asleep on the jungle gym. The bell woke me up, and I stood up. I tried to walk, but then I fell. Everyone started laughing at me. Turns out, Brayton tied my shoes together. Ha ha, I got you. Nah, that's it. I'm not taking any more Brayton's crap. Hey, Brayton, knock, 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 knock the pencil, pencil off. off. Oh, you want to fight me? All I got to say is meet me at the park after school. So you really want to do this, huh? Do you not remember half of the things you done to me? You beat me up for no reason. You stole my bike twice. You tackled me in gym class. Made a diss track about me. Enough is enough. Do you know who I am? I'm Brayton the bully. Nobody can beat me up. Don't say nobody because my friend Bernard beat you up. I'm done talking. Hit me. So this is it. I'm actually about to fight Brayton. Before school was over, I did some workouts in the bathroom using a home fitness app. The link to the app is on my page. So me and Brayton was at the park to settle this once and for all. You wanted to fight, so hit me. I just kept staring at him, thinking about everything he's done to me. I said hit me. Before he could finish, my fist was in his face. He got back up like it didn't affect him. Well, this gonna be harder than I thought. Then he put me in a headlock. You really think you're gonna win? You think you're gonna win? Ugh. 
I got out of it. Then he tried to punch me, but I moved out the way. He tried to punch me again, but I moved out the way again. So that's how Bernard beat him up. Brain can only punch people when they're standing still. Stop moving. Nope, if you want to beat me up, you got to catch me. He tried to tackle me, but I moved out the way. He tried to kick me, but he missed. I said stay still. He tried to hit me again, but his punches were getting slower. I said stay still. I beat up Brayton without even touching him. So one Saturday, my family and I were back at the movie theaters for the second day in a row to see the same movie. And the movie wasn't even that good. So I wasn't paying attention to the movie and I was so bored. Desmond, you've seen this before. Want to be more fun to do something bad? No, Desmond, don't listen to him. I'm so bored. I already know what's going to happen. Yeah, you do. So why won't you let everybody know what's going to happen? But wouldn't that ruin it for everybody else? Exactly. No, Desmond, be a good boy. Mm -mm. What should I do? What you should do is let everybody know how this next scene ends. Be strong, Desmond. The killer won't be able to stop singing. It's his favorite song. Do it, Desmond. Do it. Everybody, the killer's number four. Everybody in the movie theater was mad at me, including my parents. Boy, what's wrong with you? What? The shoulder people told me to do it. What? My son's crazy. Sad little boy. So when I was younger, I used to flip over trash cans, pots and pans, and bang on them. My parents quickly realized that I had a love for drums, and one day I came home and I had a drum set. I'll tell you, I was playing those drums every day. I'd wake up and start playing my drums. I'd come home from school and start playing my drums. Instead of eating dinner at the dinner table, I was eating my food while playing the drums. I can't take this no more. Desmond, when I'm home, don't be playing those drums that loud or I'ma take them away. Oh, sorry, Dad. So, like this? Softer. Like this? Softer. Like this? Even softer. Now that's what I'm talking about. No louder than that. Man, I can't even hear nothing. What'd you say? Nothing. So the next day, I waited until 7 p.m. to play my drums because that's when my dad left for work. I was really going at it when all of a sudden my dad came downstairs. Boy, what did I tell you yesterday? Dad, I thought you went to work. Oh, so now you're being smart. You know today's my day off. I forgot what day it was. Oh, so now you want to act dumb. Give me those drumsticks. I'm taking your drums back. No! So when school was over, everyone used to play around in the school parking lot. We were tossing a football around, and when I threw it, it hit Brayton. Who hit me with something? Of course, everyone pointed at me. Brayton walked up to me and punched me in the face. Hey, man, you don't got to punch people like that. Yermi Yermi came out the bushes and walked up to Brayton. Man, if you don't get out of here, Yermi Yermi. Leave, Yermi Yermi. I don't want you to get hurt. Hey, chill, young buck. I'm just going to talk to him real quick. Talk? There's no talking to Brayton, and Yermi Yermi was about to find out. I think you need to learn how to keep your hands to your suit. Brain punched Yermi Yermi right in his face. Oh, what he hit me with? His fist. Hey, that's what I thought. Yermi Yermi passed out on the ground. Oh, yeah, I'm bad. Psst. Yermi Yermi, pretend that Brain owes you $5. Oh, you messed up now. I ain't scared of you. Uh, too slow. Man, you better go and get my money. Yeah. Woo, $5. $5. Dollars. $5 dollars. We gave Yermi Yermi an applause and walked home. Yeah. So when I was a kid, I used to try to impress my parents all the time. I would do little things like brushing my teeth really well and asking them to check how good my breath smells or showing them my special super secret powers. No matter what I did, they were always so impressed. Well, one day while they were at work during summer vacation, I was trying to think of something amazing to do. So when they came home, they were really impressed. So I decided to do all of the chores. The problem was I've never done some of those chores before. So I just did my best. When my parents got home later on, I was just waiting 
waiting for them to see what I did. Oh my goodness, who did the dishes and who did the laundry and who mopped these flows? I ran down the stairs as fast as I could. Okay, it was me. I did everything. But my pops wasn't looking too impressed. Turns out, some dishes aren't made for the dishwasher. One red sock can make all of your white clothes pink. And I didn't know you're supposed to dry the floor after you're done mopping so no one falls. Who told you to do all this stuff? Nobody. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't give me that look. 